Hey, what is up guys? No subscribes guy here, and I'm bringing back another vehicle tutorial. Today it's going to be another another tank. Well, specifically it's going to be a little tank destroyer, which uh, hopefully you guys can follow and build if you want. I think it's quite a nice little build. I think it looks pretty nice. So, alright, so first I'm going to place, get some coal block. And place it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 along. And then where the front's going to be, 9. And then it's going to go up like that. So it's going to have a diagonal. So it's 9 along overall. Then what we need is a gap of 3 in the middle. Place that. So it's 1, 2, 3 there. Up like that. To get that and then eight along. So that's one, two, three, eight. There we go. Alright, so once we've done that, we can get some stone brick slabs. Well, we'll get some stone bricks first. We'll get some stone bricks and we'll place them upside down at the front wheel. Not the top one, but the one on the floor. So upside down facing us. Actually, yeah, no, bring them forward. Yeah, bring them forward one. Like so. So it's just underneath this upper one here in the middle. I'm going to get some stone brick slabs and place that on top of there. Then what we're going to do is going to get some the slabs again. And next to this, on the top layer, so we've got a gap of one. Just place them all along. Now, we will be removing them shortly. But for now, we just want them all the way along. Or we'll be replacing them shortly, but for now we just want them all the way along to help us, you know, choose where the things will go or show where things will go at. Okay, so then at the back here, again, more upside down stairs right at the back, and then just some standard stairs on top as well. And then we can fill in that like there, one, two, three. So we've got a block of three to fill in the back. And we'll come back to that later. In fact, yeah, there. Now, along the side here, actually, yeah, along the side here, so we're going to go one, one, two, and then one, two, three. And the same on the other side, so leave a, a gap of two here, and then one, two, three. Alright? So we got that going. Alright? Easy to follow, simple so far. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just consider. And then one, two, three at the back, like that. And then we get some slabs, and then just follow that down like so. Alright. Alright, so then what we're going to want to do is get go to the front here and place it here. That's upside down stair, yep. A stair like that. And then a stair there. I think I've gone wrong somewhere, if I might be correct in saying. Uh, stair there. Oh, yep, yeah, stair there. It's got this vertical stair going up there. And then stair again and stair across like that. So what you want to do is grab some chiseled stone bricks on the top layer, bring it up by two, and then replace this one under here with another stair. So you got that like the gunman look coming out. So then on here, we're going to want to go up by, that's not a slab, but go up by one on the slabs and make a roof out of slabs. We've got a hole in the middle and put a trapdoor in. And on the inside, grab some stairs and just put it there. A bit more inside detail. So then we want to get, we're going to want to go outside now. Back outside to where we originally did the hold on. 
we just set it to date. All right, so where we did the these original side skirts here, but if you notice there's a gap here, so what I'm going to do is grab some stairs, and then along here, we are going to want to place four upside down ones facing outwards. So you still got that lip kind of thing going, which I think looks nice. Adds a bit more detail than just a big plain flat wall. So we've still got the lip going, and then we've got that at the back. Okay. So then get some buttons. Try to remove stupid bushes. Miss that. And just place them all along there. Like that. So we've got like the wheels on the tracks. And then we'll go along and do it on the other side as well. And there. Alright, almost done. Grab some more stairs. And here, replace these three with stairs just going the correct way up. This, uh, this I believe, just adds enough slight effect to the back, making it look here, look, making the whole thing look slightly smaller than like the ginormous thing it quite literally is. But if you've ever seen a tank in real life, they are quite big. So, all right. So anyway, where I was, I okay. Yep, yeah, grab some cobblestone wall, bring it out by one, two, three, four. Five, six. Yeah, bring it up by six. To have your main tank destroyer gun now. For those of you who don't know what tank destroyers are, they're, they're basically like tanks, but they don't have a turret. So it's kind of in the chassis sort of thing with a bit of a box. So yeah, that's our inside or our outside. Then if you wanna just have a look, there it is. It's quite nice, quite simple, quite basic, but still quite nice, I think. Alright, let's go inside our hatch. Right, in here we'll replace the floor with uh, more stone uh, more stone bricks. Let's replace that there. So you've got quite a roomy interior here. Now, on the left here where the front is, you can replace that straight block, place a half slab there, then we'll get some rail and a minecart. Oh, we can get some rail. Okay, invisible minecart. But there's a minecart there, but my Minecraft just glitching out. Don't know what glitching out, don't know why. Oh well, alright, in the hole. So there's a minecart there now, but it's invisible. <laughs> there is actually one there as well. Let's place a stone brick next to it so it doesn't slide out. So you can now, when you get in it, look, you can now look out the driver's window and not go anywhere so you can't slide off. But when you do leave, you kind of get thrown out of the vehicle. That's it. If you want to go in and here, yep. In the middle, just because it'll be better, place some cobblestone wall. This is basically just to pretend where the gun's coming through into the tank, kind of thing. You can add some seats as well, some more seats. So back here, you can add another minecart for the loader, maybe. Back here for the commander, and then one up front for the gunner. So yeah, that's our fully working interior. So the driver can sit in his seat, the loader can sit in his seat, the commander can sit in his seat. Uh, we'll take that one back by one. You can kind of get in and out, you can put a ladder in if you want. I thought it would just take up too much room, so I'm not going to. And then the gun has got his seat as well. So yeah, now that's the thing. Pretty quick, pretty simple to be honest, and it's a quite a nice thing. So if any of you guys out there are thinking of, um, you know, building an army base or anyone wants some tanks or something, tank destroyers, something to put in the yard outside, you can build this. It's quite nice that there's where the driver's sitting. I think it looks quite nice, to be honest. 
could be improved like this back bit maybe could be improved a bit but I quite like it to be honest I think it's rather nice so yeah there you have it, a tank destroyer so for this quick short simple tutorial I've been the no subscribers guy and um, please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and, and thoroughly thank you for watching